prior to his arrival in Merlea, Buddhism was taught largely in Chinese. It was the chief who began teaching Buddhism in English. Well, I think the Chinese, uh, Chinese Malaysians uh, of Chinese descent, they have been Buddhist uh, in the traditional form, traditional sense of the word. So there have been some access to teachings from Taiwan and China and so on. But the English educated uh, Malaysians who could not read Mandarin or could not understand Chinese, they were cut off from that source of, of information. So for a long time before Chief Reverend came, we did not have any access to Buddhist teachings. And many of us actually straight to other, other religions. But when Chief came here and he started teaching largely in English, and then when we found these teachings, then I think because of that, the English educated uh, Malaysians who speak English then found this readily available information on Buddhism. And I think that's, that's why uh, histor it's, it's a historical phenomenon that uh, a lot of the Theravadin Buddhists happen to be English speaking. It just happened that way. When I came here, at that time, they had only seven children in Sunday school. Then we started English classes to talk teachings and Buddhism and Sunday school. Right mindfulness, right concentration. If you follow this path, what we taught, then you can gain enlightenment too. All of us can. Now we have 1,200 Sunday school children. The chief has also tried to speak Malay, but often with funny results. I was studying Malay language at that time. Only a few words. A lady came to worship. She was standing. Now I wanted to tell her to sit down for blessing. Then I asked her, Tido. Then she ran away. I came and asked these people, what happened? When I asked her to Tido, she ran away. They didn't know Tido, Dudo. <laughs> the chief has always presented Buddhism in its essence, emphasizing rationality over rituals. But when the Chinese came to Malaysia, they actually brought with them a very degenerate form of Buddhism. It was all mixed up with Taoism, Confucianism, and basically some basic Chinese beliefs. So that was a form of Buddhism which our forefathers taught us and came down to us. No doubt that they are pulled for the maintain Buddhism, their knowledge, their understanding about the teachings of the Buddha is very poor. They follow only tradition, custom and rite and rituals and ceremonies. That's so. Only Theravada Buddhists who have come from Sri Lanka started to introduce the real teachings of the Buddha, not only tradition, customs, and all this attitude. Now, educated people, Chinese and others, also slowly, slowly turning toward this Buddhist way of life by knowing the teachings of the Buddha. As the current chairman and founding member of the Malaysian Consultative Council of Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, and Sikhism, the chief has worked hard to foster interreligious harmony. I have written a booklet, Buddhist Attitude Towards Other Religions. There I have mentioned, instead of converting others into Buddhism, we can encourage others practice their own religion. That is the Buddhist attitude. Because we never say they are sinners and heathens and pagans and they go to hell and they cannot go to heaven. We never say. If they are good, if they don't do any harm to anybody, whatever religious labels they have, it is immaterial. They are labels. When I was in Australia in the hospital for my bypass operation, I was wearing the uniform suit, not the monk's robe. A lady came with the Bible, because she does not know who I am. Told me the operation will be tomorrow. It is a very serious operation. You must have a Holy Communion today. I say yes. Then she read a passage from the Bible, 
and prayed for me. I said, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> then a group of students from Malaysia who are studying in uh, New University of New South Wales, having heard that I am in the hospital, few of them came to see me. And although I was not wearing the yellow robe, by kneeling down, they pay respect to me. And this lady is watching. She cannot understand what is happening. Then she went to one of these boys and asked, actually, who is this man? Then she said, this is our chief Buddhist high priest in Malaysia. My God, I never knew. She came and apologized. Then I asked, why do you want to apologize? You have done very good service, good intention. I really appreciate the prayer that you have done for me. Ah, that is the Buddhist attitude.